Now, Syria says Israel has hit its territory with airstrikes. State media has says that Israel targeted two army posts in the province of Dera, and that led to what it calls some material losses. Israel's army said that it was responding to missile launches from Syria targeting its territory. Israel also says a group of fighters armed with anti-tank missiles from Lebanon was struck by its forces near northern Israel. Ali Hashem joins us live now from Lakura in southern Lebanon. And we'll talk about Syria in a moment, um, Ali, but just tell us about the situation where you are because it's hotting up. Well, uh, for the past hour, there's been fierce uh, shelling from uh, both sides now. It started with several mortars uh, launched from Lebanon towards uh, the Israeli military positions and then a guided missile. And then the shelling started, constant shelling. I, I hope our colleague Raed could show us maybe to the back. This is the background. These are the Israeli uh, military positions and we can see the smoke over there. Um, there were constant shelling from the Israeli side after the, the attack. And of course, I mean, we're now in a, in a new situation, in a new uh, maybe a phase of the escalation here in, in South Lebanon. Yesterday, the Israeli um, uh, uh, shelling and targeting went as deep as 14 kilometers inside the Lebanese territories. And also from the side of Hezbollah and its uh, allies or the groups under its umbrella, uh, there was also a hit inside the depth of North Israel, it was like around 13 kilometers in Roshpina. Uh, Ali, when we talked about the, this area... The shelling, it's, it's very, very clear for us. Yeah, uh, when, when yeah. we talked about this area, what, less than 24 hours ago, Ali, you were, you were also telling us about the local communities there that live off the land. It's harvest time right now. What have you witnessed in the time that we've spoken? Have more and more people been leaving this area because it's becoming more and more dangerous in southern Lebanon? Well, of course, gradually we're seeing more families leaving, even from the closer cities like Ta'a, some people tire. Some people from Ta'a are, are, are kind of taking their decision to, to leave towards Beirut because no one is really sure about the uh, end game here. Things are, are kind of escalating on a daily basis. The depth of Israeli shelling and targeting is getting uh, uh, extending within the Lebanese uh, geography. Also, Hezbollah is extending its, uh, its hits within the Israeli geography. So there is a, a situation of uh, uncertainty. And this applies well on the uh, border villages where you'll just go and go without seeing any and there's another another impact for this situation is that the agricultural lands uh, extending over the uh, western line of the of the of the border mostly are, are burnt by Israeli shelling. And of course, let, let's turn our attention now to the strikes in Syria and, and a real concern, uh, as there has been on the diplomatic front as well as the military front, of this scenario escalating and becoming a more regional conflict. And this is what many countries don't want to see, but yet we are seeing uh, this tension between Syria and Israel. Well, Suhel, you know, there is uh, this extended geography with uh, Syria's border, borders with Israel, Lebanon's border with Israel. And given the fact that Syria, Hezbollah, Iran, Hamas, they're all part of one axis, or at least they have a lot of intersections as allies. Now, each one is trying to help the other in this, in this big battle. And now, we don't know here if it's the Syrian government or Hezbollah and Iran, because they also have control over the Syrian border with, uh, with Israel. So these rockets that are being launched, and actually they're not, they're not that much, but every time there are rockets launched from the Syrian territory, uh, the Israelis are, reply, uh, are retaliating immediately. And in, in different occasions, they hit directly the uh, airports in Damascus and Aleppo. And the airports were out of service. Now we know also of hits in Dara'a. So the Israelis are kind of uh, uh, insisting on directing their message directly to the, to the Syrian government, maybe because they know that uh, it will have its influence over its allies, such as Hezbollah and Iran, or any other factions playing from this region uh, on the border between Israel and Syria. Ali Hashem Forrest there in Nakura in uh, southern Lebanon. Thank you.